Hello, welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. This is Tom. Today I'm going to continue my series on the quick load of programming and just give you some quick tips on how to create an account or modify an existing account. So we're going to go into new. Just going to label it test. Hit apply. OK. I'm going to Click on the type of panel I want to program. So let's say I'm dealing with 1632. You can leave the master security code or change it to whatever you want. Hit apply. Hit OK. Okay, and then you're going to get a series of screens to pop up, which you can just keep on hitting OK if you wanted to. Or you can just go up into the red X in the upper right hand corner and click on that, and it's going to bypass going through all the icons. So let's say we're doing a 32 uh, zone programming. So a couple of quick tips here is you can go in and you can just click on one at a time and then label the zones as you want. Or you can go in there and with some of these shortcuts make it a little bit simple. So if you see this, you have your area, you want to put all your zones in the area first. You click on the box and then you see this little black box, a little hard to see. You're going to put your cursor on there until it becomes a plus. You're going to left click and you're going to drag all the way down and that will put all your zones in an area. Then you can do the same thing with your advanced code which is your contact ID code. You just get in there until you see the little box, left click, drag all the way down. And then your zones, you can do the same thing. If you click on there, get the little positive sign left click all the way down okay so that's a quick way of getting all your zones in there and if you want to go in and modify certain zones let's say you want zone 15 to be a different type of zone you can just click on the zone itself and then you go to the zone configuration type box up here and you'll see that we have a bunch of Z labels in here and you can choose from one of those Z labels, which is predefined zones that we load in there as a default. These are just zones that we find that people are normally using out there. So if I want to change that to, let's say, a X Energy Follower, I can just click on X Energy Follower and hit Apply. If I wanted to go into another zone, I would just go in there and I can do the same thing. Or what I can do is do a user defined zone okay which is if I go in there and let's say I want to put a board delay on here okay so now it becomes a user defined zone it's not using one of our Z labels and I can go in there and do create and I can do a board delay zone just label it a board delay zone and then I would click on OK and then hit apply and then close and what that will do is if I want to use that anywhere else, I would just click on a zone, do my drop down, and there's my abort delay zone. So I can choose that over and over. And you can create as many of these zone types as you like. Also your zone descriptions. Let's say uh, you have a bunch of windows. Okay, you can do the same thing here. So I can just type in windows do the same little X over there drop it down okay let's say I have a bunch of doors or even like first floor second floor or something like that and then you can go in there and modify it as you go along another tip too is some people like the old screen the old DOS type screen you can click on your toggle between zone, type, zone assignments and feature view. Okay, and you'll see that all these yeses are all the features to the particular zone in the front. So let's say I wanted to add auto bypass on here. So I can go ahead and I can hit F5. Okay, and that's going to highlight all the zones. F4 will I will dis, uh, disengage just the eight zones. Okay, F6 
6 will get rid of all of them. So F5 is on, F6 is off. F4, F3 is just going to be um, for 8 zones. And F4 is going to be get rid of the 8 zones. And these are just some you know, little quick tips that will kind of make it a little bit easier. Also, as you're going into the different boxes, you can do F9 and F10. Uh, F10 will bring you to the next icon. F9 will bring you backwards. And then you can just forward in each one of these tabs as, they, as you go along. And that's uh, pretty much uh, it on a quick tip. So I'm, I'm going to do more of these, like I said. So just look out for the next ones. And thank you for visiting NAPCO Video Tech Tips.